In the dark shadows of history lie legends of lost civilizations whose kings ruled with the power of gods, only to crumble into the dust of time. From such a place rode three horsemen, their leader wearing the gold of ancient royalty. I get my hands on you. You just wait till Ma hears about this. Sam! Sam! Better hurry up and get dressed if you don't want to get caught bare. Somebody's coming. Mr. Adams. Hey, got time to talk now. You get her, please? Yeah. Ma? Milt, what is it? What's happened? It's Jenny. I'm afraid she's got the cholera. Cholera? You got to come, Molly. Ma, can I talk 
Can I go with you? No. Why? I ain't chancing you getting the cholera. Charlotte, Jenny's got the cholera, and I'm going with milk to see what I can do. Oh. And Charlotte, I'm leaving you in charge. Your pa's not due back till late tonight, and no telling how long I'll be. So I'm trusting you both. And Sam, for once, mind your sister, do you hear? None of your tricks. And don't think you're getting away with what you did, Sam Isaac. You'll get your just dues when Pa gets home. Shelly, what about Ma? Won't she get the car? Maybe. But she'll die. You don't think that would stop her from going, do you? She wouldn't take a thought to her own life if she thought she could help save Jenny's. But that don't make no sense. Her dying to save Jenny? She ain't gonna die. But she could. You don't understand, Sam. There's a lot more to it than that. If a person's everything he should be, he wouldn't be thinking of himself first, even if it meant dying. Where'd you get that idea? Right under your nose. In the Holy Scriptures. It says right here in the Bible, you can't have no greater love than to give your life for a friend. I don't know anybody I'd die for. Would you die for me? I'd die for anybody in this family. I'm sorry to say that includes you. I ain't never seen any like them before. Shout out what we do. Is that part of the cabin? Let's get out of here. Hide in the storehouse.
hurry. You gotta get up. Come on. You gotta get up. We gotta get going. Quick, you! I can't leave you. Do as I say. Go. Cry for help. Kevin, they found you. Don't say you got a good look at those engines, son. Are they Cheyenne or Shoshone? Neither one, Pa. Never seen Indians like them. They wore funny-looking moccasins. And one had a gold band on his head. And they come riding in, not scared of nothing. They've done anything, they It's all my fault, Pa. Shouldn't have gone back for Callie. You mean you came back for that fool cat? Molly. They would have got him. Yes, and now they got your sister. Molly, that's enough. You're being too hard on him. He's only a boy. I should have never left him here alone. John, you gotta find him. I will. You just got to. I will, Molly. I won't give up till I do. This is where they got her. First time in more than three years anything like this has happened. Zeke. Look at this. I've never seen an engine make tracks like this before. Right recent, too. Let's ride for the trail gets cold.
God taking me with him. Back. We gotta swim this. He helped save your life. See there? Now he likes you. He likes you real good. Bar killer! Come over here right now, I'm gonna shoot you. Well, bar killer, he wouldn't kill nobody except bars and engine, maybe a white kid or two. All right. Get over in your corner. Go on. Go on. Yeah. You know, I had a boy like you once, except he's ugly as dirt, took after his mom. Ended up having to slit his throat. Who are you? Well, speak up, boy. What's your name? Sam Sutter. You one of them new settlers over by the Black Ridge country? I'm looking for my sister. The Indians stole her. And I ain't going back till I find her. <laughs> well, ain't you the gritty one? Yeah. <laughs> Hear that, bar killer? This little old boy, he can't ford a river or pack a rifle, but he's setting off in barn engine country alone. Got no grub bag. What was you figuring to feed on? And what he got in your pockets, huh? Maybe. Maybe it's a little trinket here. That's mine. Huh? It's yours, is it? Well, why don't you take it? It's mine. Now give it here. I said take it, huh? Get on, you scraggly monster. See, he likes you. He likes you real good. He likes me better. Now, where'd you get this? Off them engines that stole my sister. Well, in all my barn put together, I never seen nothing like this off no Indian. 
Hell, don't even smell like them. Nobody knows them better than me. Now, look you there. Now, just fits. Your mom and pa know you're out here? No. Well, there's one thing you got, Sam Sutter, and that's guts. But there's one thing you ain't got, and that's no how. You get away from here. You had your share. There's others of us. Now, boy, I've been trapping on this old river for nigh on 30 years. I know every tribe from here to the divide. Speak six Indian tongues and still have to hang on my scalp. And here come a skinny little thing like you, a barging in the grizzly country without even enough sense to cross a river. You know what I got a good mind to do? Slit your throat. Now eat up. I don't want none. You gonna insult my stew? You gonna insult my stew? Now boy, I said eat up. Well, don't pay no attention to him. You won't find no cleaner hound in all this territory. Now boy, eat up! Seen nothing like that. Hmm. Well, sure, it'd be worth something. Two, three hundred dollars, I suppose. Well, yeah, you ain't getting it. It's mine. Nothing prettier than sweet yellow gold. <laughs> um, ah. There's your bed. Ain't about to say another word to you. Till I take you home in the morning. I ain't going home. Sure you are. <laughs> I ain't going back. Yeah. Not till I find my sister. Now give me what's mine and I'll be off. I tell you, I ain't going home. Yeah, you are. Ain't that true, bar killer? <laughs> There's Ma. Yep, there she is, waiting for you with a razor strap. My, oh my, the razor strap. Just a quivering and a shivering, waiting to put them blisters on you. I don't like drunks. Drunk? I ain't no drunk. Is I bar killer? Oh. Uh, afternoon, ma'am. Uh, my name's Hap Cook. Uh, most folks just call me Russian. You might have heard of me. Uh, I've been trapping in these parts for nigh on to 30 years. Sam Isaac, where you been? Well, Mom, we found him in the river near drowned, and me and old bar killer fetched him out and brought him home to you. Have they found Charlotte yet? You don't see her dancing no jig, do you? And man finds you, I'll give him a whipping and a good one, too. Ain't we got enough trouble, Sam, without you running off, too? I can't take any more. I just can't. Want. That's right, boy. You get in there and get what's coming to you. And the next time, you leave the searching to men. Come on, Barkiller. Get around here, you monster. Come on, punk. Russian. I killed a bar. Hey, wait. You got my headband. I want it. Now, boy, it ain't no good to you. I'm just going to keep it. Now, give it here. I want it. You know what that is. Now, that is gold. That is sweet yellow gold. And it ain't no use to no kid no how. Now, you ain't getting it. It's mine. You know something? I should let you drown. Shouldn't I, Bar Killer? <laughs> ah. I killed a bar. Over yard. I didn't really do it. I was drunk. Let me see that darn thing.
Well, what do you think? There ain't no way of knowing for sure if it even came off an engine. It had to. I found it in the spot where they got Charlotte. Look, I ain't expecting any of you boys to ride out with me again. I, uh, you've given me two weeks your time already, and I'm much obliged. We don't need them. You ain't going, Sam. Please, Pa. I've got to help find her. I was to blame. Sam, you did wrong with going off before. Now, this time you're standing and you're looking after your ma. I'm dependent on you, son. Yes, Pa. Growing good, Callie. Pa won't even know you when he gets back. John, now lie quiet. I thought I'd never make it. Damn, Kyle was. Don't try to talk, Sam. Get my bag. And it ain't no use, Molly. I've searched. I tried. A little girl was gonna be dead.
Take you no place, no how. Just think of all that gold we'll find once you take me those engines that stole my sister. Just think. Yellow gold. Stacks and stacks of it. I sure reckon everything is dear and precious to me is back right there in that mule. Said maybe for old bar killer. Come on. Son? Of course I did. Told you, didn't I? Did you really slit his throat? <laughs> what would you think I made that stew out of? <laughs> uh, he's a good boy. Told you he put me in mind of you. His mom was Cheyenne. Bought her from old Chief Shokabob for two jugs. Damn, Pox got them both. You know, you'd think after all this time, we would have found a clue by now. It's like hunting for ghosts, ain't it? Well, you can't expect folks to know something about a tribe that don't exist. It gets more clear every day you drug me out on a wild goose chase. And you might as well know... I don't aim to go on. Russian, you ain't quitting. Had it in mind to head back first thing in the morning. But you can't. What's to stop me? But I've got to have you along. How else am I going to talk to them engines? They'll scalp me for sure. And then wouldn't your ma and pa have something real to grieve about? Both their kids hanging in a tree? I don't care if you do go back. But I'm going on till I find Charlotte. You can bet that when I find that gold, you ain't getting one piece. You old yeller belly. 
Slab. It's only two more days to the Cheyennes, and after that I'm heading back, and you, you can go to hell. Ah. Well, look at her. Ain't she pretty? When her old shoke Bob like to swap her for a smart Alec White kid. <laughs> I'm asking what you need. There's a guy on again. Steve, you want on it? Well, it's just like I figured. He don't know nothing neither. Now, Sam Isaac, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to attend a small social do, following which I am heading back. What's he doing? Does he know anything? See you, Jake. I'm going to go. What are you doing? Why can't he talk? His tongue's cut out. The old fool came here years ago, dead of winter, tried to steal some food, and these loving Cheyenne took him in and sentenced him to do squaw's work for the rest of his life. Well, maybe he's. No. They don't know who he is, and they don't know where he came from. Good at it. You go here, up there. been looking for Russian. That's got to be where Charlotte is. Now, I ain't never heard of no crooked sky, and I ain't about to go traipsing all over this country looking for some place I never heard of. Ask him, Russian. Ask him where it is. Absolutely no tell where Crooked Sky. He leaves me and you on trail. Crooked Sky. He. Take him home. Tell him, Russian. Are you loco? Look at him. He can barely totter around this camp. He wouldn't last one day on the trail. And besides, I told you where I'm going. But that's if we didn't find any clues here. But now we know where Charlotte is. Please, Russian, you gotta help me. 
Nope, my mind's made up. And this time, I mean it. to a rat. Where we stop? <clears throat> Unpack this mule, make camp while I do a little scouting. Boy, you'd be wise to keep that rifle handy. Bar killer, come on. that Russian and get here. times he saved it.
You think he's gonna make it? For a while, I guess. Lasted while we got him out of those rocks. Likely last just long enough to get us lost in that desert. Ooh. Sure as hell hope he knows where he's going. Same as on the gold band. Ooh-wee. Led us right to the edge of nowhere. But Russia, that's got to be Crooked Sky. That's what he's trying to tell us. We made it. What are you going to do? Russian, we're almost there. We're likely right on top of it. And behind that rock wall, there's water waiting for us, and Charlotte, and enough gold to make you rich. In the morning, if I wake up, I'm heading home. Now, I likely won't get far, but I'm going. Why, you dirty old drunken coward. You're nothing but a coward, always giving up. Sorry, old man, about not being able to keep my promise and take you back home. But I was hoping you'd taken us to the right spot. But I guess Russian was right. You're just a crazy old Indian. to be whole. Why couldn't we see it before? I don't know. Something to do with the sun's rays, I suppose. Well, come on. There is water up there, boy. There is 
water. Come on. Come on. Water. Come on. Get her out. Well, now, I've never seen nothing like that in all my life. Russian, look! That's gold. I'm gonna be rich! Boy, you done right by me. You brung me to the end of the rainbow. Ain't it beautiful, sweet yellow gold? Look at it, boy. Watch it shine, don't it pleasure your eyes? Sam, I'll share it with you. You bring me here, I'll share everything we find, and there'll be plenty of it. <gasps> Sweet! Yellow! Go! Russ, look at this! What does it all mean? Damn fair, no. Now, boy, we got to dig up this arrow and get packing. Come on! to be scout. I'm praying, boy, best get to your prayers. We're sure as hell gonna need them now. Are they? Good night, Joe. You a bad one. You, um. Hey, how much did you How much? Keep your mouth shut, boy. Oh. No, no, I don't. I don't want it. Oh. Got that? What's that? Uh, that, 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 that. It's just a matter of time. We're poisoned for sure. What's that? Just a matter of time. <laughs> country with bar killer. Instead, look at me now. Laying here near naked, being gawked at by that old bat limb of the squaws. I'm going, boy. I'm going. I'm going.
like the inside of a sow's belly. Soon. You speak English? White girl, teach me your language. I am Ashkia, daughter Chief Shumiki. My father built sorrow, anger, for one who killed brother Ekima. Oh, cut tongue murdered? Ekima, great warrior, once for chief, but failed test crooked sky. Ekima, feel shame. Leave people, never return. No, no, he passed his test, didn't he, Russian? That's why he cried when he saw the gold band. Shumiki win gold. Now, Chief. And we might just be next. <sighs> hmm. Look, you've got to help me. Your people, they stole my sister, Charlotte. I've got to see her. Please, you've got to help me. You just gotta help me. I've gotta see her. I've gotta talk to her. Gold Ben. That's him. He's the one that stole my. You aiming to take on this whole tribe? Easy. He, Tim Cotton, my brother, your sister's husband. Wear gold. Soon to be chief. Charlotte? They say she killed Ekima. No. No, she wouldn't do that. Now you tell that old buzzard of a chief that if he tries to kill my sister, I'm going to kill him. Now you tell him that for a start, because I mean business. Boy, you're trying to get us both barbecued. Now come on. Nandi, I say that. Nanantak. She's telling him. I say that. Nisha. Me, not Lani, ne. Blondie, won't ne, Flanada! 
chief angry. He no like be called buzzard. He say, you go or die with girl. Tell him I'm not leaving this place without that girl. Boy, you want me to come over there and get you? I didn't come all this way just to see my sister die. Before I give up fighting, I'll give my own life for Charlotte. Now you tell him that. Boy. I never seen nothing like you in all my born put together. Wait, Lana Teda. Nelit Tlawi Tla Mimea. Mea de la Kale Hekama. Netla Dunde de Unde. Nita mea de la ne ekama. Nasha nasho nate naota. Te heva kao. You let Charlotte go? Chief say, if Charlotte have no blame, boy, race son to crooked sky. Give blood to let sister live. Your death will prove your sister's innocence. It means the gods have allowed you to win. What do I have to do? Race him against the sun. Now, that is the cruelest, damnedest thing I ever heard of. Asking a scrawny little kid like you to race against the sun and for the privilege of receiving an arrow that was meant for your sister. We gotta prove who did it, Russian. That's the answer. Well, you not head, haven't you figured that out yet? You know? Oh, I'm not so blind I can't see the facts. Now, if old Cut Tongue was telling the truth about winning that gold band, then he should have been the king all along. What? He was left out in that desert without a tongue. He's left out there to die. And somebody else is running this place. Shumiki! You hush up, boy, or we ain't worth rags. Not to ourselves, not to your sister, not to nobody. What are we gonna do? Hell if I know. We gotta help save Charlotte. Boy, you really do expect miracles. And where's all that gold you promised me? Now, that's our bargain. You're gonna bring me out for gold. And now you're asking me to risk my life, and I gotta think about that. We don't got time to think. We only got till morning. I said I'm gonna think about it. Little brother, please come. Mama, Papa, I miss him so much. They're doing just fine. They miss you too. Please, Sam, I want you to go home. Please, before they harm you. I'm going home all right, but I'm taking you with me. But there's no way. Hurry, brother. Stop, find us here. Wait. I want you to take this home, Ma and Pa. Please hurry. Go before it's too late. Ashkia, keep my secret. Temkai must never find out that I carry his child. Not with what he must do. What does it mean to race the sun? You will begin in the valley below. Race across the valley and climb to the top of Crooked Sky. This must be done before the shadow of the sun leaves the golden arrow. How? How could anybody ever do it? Even the strongest warriors failed the test of Crooked Sky. You do as your sister begs. Return to your own land, to your mother and father. Tim Kai. He said for what he must do. I don't understand. He wear gold. His 
arrow must take Charlotte's life. It is the way of my people. What? My people's ways are hard. I'll do it. Who says I can't? God will help me and I'll make it too. And I'll be the one that'll take Tim Kaisero. I do not understand such love to give so much for your sister. She'd do it for me. So would Ma and Pa. If they believe what it says right in here about giving your life for a friend. No need of me keeping this now.
me give up. Sam? Sam? Sam! Ma! Pa! Ma! Ma! It's there! Well, about time you got back. Howdy, Russian. Where you two been, running off without a word? What brings you out here this time of the year? Well, now, John, I was afraid that if we got a heavy snow, I might get locked in, and I was hoping I could spend a little time here with uh, you folks. Well, now, you're welcome to stay just as long as you'd like. Ah. Sam, take your cow to the corral. Saved him for you, Russian. Name's Bar Killer. Well, you not hit. 
you know enough not to give my dog's name to a scraggy thing like that. Let me see it. Off to today. Went to get his mule. His mule? Yeah, his mule left him this morning. He was cussing it, and that thing turned and headed towards the hills. <laughs> Guess it had enough of him. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna miss that Russian. Uh huh. He's a good old boy. Paul? Huh? Yes, son. Do you think Ma will ever get back to the way she was? What do you mean, Sam? She don't act the same. Your Ma's going through a lot of pain, son. I guess maybe she doesn't realize what she's got for thinking about what she's lost. You know, when you and Charlotte was both gone, uh, she never stopped hoping and praying that she'd both come back. When you came back and told us that Charlotte had died of the fever in that Indian camp, well, I guess maybe she just ain't accepted it. We'll just have to give her time, son, and trust in the Lord. Hey, it's getting hot. How about some water? What's the matter with you, boy? It was Tamkai. my place at Crooked Sky.
is my son, mine and Tempai. What is it, John? What's wrong? Mama? 